Hey everybody, it's Brian Howard and this is How to Grow in the Lord. And I'm kind of excited about this particular thought I wanted to pass along to you today. And that is that to grow in the Lord, it's not an exercise. It's not a task. It's not a we do something because we should. To grow in the Lord, the best way to grow in the Lord really is to have a mindset shift that it's a relationship. And really, you should strive and seek the Lord. You know, the Bible says, seek his face. Well, what is a person's face, right? A person's face is, you know, them, their personality, their their personhood versus it doesn't say seek their foot, doesn't say, you know, seek their hand, like you want a handout um, kind of thing. It says seek, seek his face. And so really what I want to encourage you all is is to start having the mindset that you want to get to know the Lord as a person. And when you pray, pray like you're talking to a person. Pray like, you know, you and I are sitting down having a conversation and, and make that, you know, make your prayer conversational. So, you know, it's really, maybe it's a couple of thoughts that I'll leave with you. First one is to have a mindset that it's a relationship and to, to just start with that, um, you know, instead of being a task or like, oh, I want to, I need to grow in the Lord. Well, what does that mean, right? It, just, just think of it differently. What if I said I want to grow in my friendship with you, right? How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to, you know, spend time with you, treat, treat you, treat you like a person. Understand that, you know, not only re- you're real but you're knowable, uh, and then invest in that, right? And not, you know, but it's not about being fake. It's not about we're going to check out check a a box that we spent time with God or that, you know, that kind of thing. So, you know, that's, that's my, that's a thought for you is to focus on your relationship in the sense that you focus on God as a real person and getting to know him personally and seeking and asking him questions. That's, that's another little trick that I've been doing for years, which is ask God questions. Um, so that's about it. And, I, you know, just make sure you're, you're spending some time with them. You're getting them involved in your issues and questions and problems um, and your, your situations. Um, you know, the best way to, you know, if you think about it, the most relevant way to interface with someone is when you have a reason to. So in the case of your relationship with God, your reasons can be kind of unlimited. There's millions of ways of interfacing with God and and it certainly can be things that you're you're struggling with or things that you you might need him to really intervene with. So, yeah, so there's a, there's a sort of a collection of a few thoughts there. Um you can go uh you know, listen to it again, but I think there's maybe there's three nuggets in there. Number 1, it's a mind shift. It's he's not, you know, you know, growing the, in the Lord is not a task, but it's a relationship. Um and it's a mind shift that you're not checking a box, but you're spending time with almost a friend. Not not almost, definitely a friend. Um, second thing is to actually spend the time. Third thing is how do you? What's some relevant ways of getting, of having conversations? And that is, you know, getting them involved in the issues of life. So I hope that helps you. And take care.